Hi everyone, this is the day 10. So, we have a good weather a little bit changed. <coughs> Here you can see Anandala Hari speeding up. You want to say something? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was very <laughs> enthusiastic. <laughs> So, <clears throat> uh, the weather has changed the way that humidity went up just a little bit. Not, not too far, but it, you can feel that it's <clears throat> more humid than it was for the last couple of days. So, we will see how it will affect our performance and how we feel and how we, how we are running. Yesterday, it looks like... Uh, uh, a couple of people had a harder day, like harder, I said already. But today he looks much better again. He saw, he said he's feeling much better, so he's, he's back. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, some problems has uh, Vasu. I talked to him today, and he said he has a problem with one leg. He got the blister. He got the problem with the shin, and he got, he got the problem with the Achilles. So everything can come together. Everything, everything on one leg, <coughs> which is quite hard then. But he's still running, but he's uh, stretching a, a lot. <coughs> Otherwise, he's okay. Uh, uh, Ray, as I said a few times, he is mostly walking, but today he is limping more than yeah, he, uh, the last couple of days. So probably his feet is hurting him more than. Than, uh, than usually, but the rest of the as of others, uh, it looks really good. Uh, Swedish Hill, I think, is one of the fastest is on the course. It's quite windy now, yeah. so uh, he looks really good. Also, uh, Sarvagata, he is really fast, and especially in the evenings, he's one of the fastest with the uh, Sara. <coughs> so uh, 10 days. So actually now, I, as I check the board, very soon I will cross the uh, 600, uh, 622 miles, which is 1,000 kilometers. <sighs> so it's one fifth of the of the race. It's, it will be behind me. The uh, rest of the people, will, some of the, of the people already crossed, crossed it today, and some rest will cross in a couple of days. So it's 10 days, but still it's only a beginning because it's still 4,000 kilometers to go. So can you, when you imagine, in, in one month we will be still running here. So this race is really hard, really long. You have to really work, up, work on, on your mind. So this is the main tool which, in, which can really help you or which can really kill you. Sometimes it's even more important than the, than the body itself because yeah, the strength of your mind is really, really hard, really, really strong. <clears throat> what I do, you know, I try to divide it. The first thing is to, to I try to imagine that this is the, the things I will do until the end of my life then it's easier to accept it and then I try to divide the day to some some parts first is like uh, every six hours and then maybe three hours and then even every lab you just started to think think what you are going to t take in the camp what you are going to eat or drink and then you know every three hours you know is a, at least some, for me, it's like kind of, <clears throat> kind of, I don't know, like, point. And this way you can, you can divide the race and you can survive it much, much easier. So you can use the power of your mind to, to this way. Because otherwise, you know, when you imagine that you were running on 800 meters loop in the middle of the town in the heat, for, for days and days, it will just kill you. 
when you are still when you are still imagining that you still have to do like 4,000 kilometers here, more than 40 days, <coughs> it will just just really kill you. So this is the report from today. I guess that's it. That's it. And see you tomorrow.